Have you ever been in the middle of designing a website only to find that something crucial is missing? It's frustrating, right? If you've been searching for the navbar height variable in Bootstrap 4 and can't find it, you're in the right place. Today, we're gonna solve this mystery together. I totally get it. You dive into the SAS files, and instead of finding the variable you need, you hit a dead end. You're not alone in this. Many developers have faced the same issue when customizing their bootstrap navbars. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, what is the SAS variable to change navbar height in Bootstrap 4? This is a common concern for anyone looking to customize their website's design. So let's dive into the details and find the answer. So what's going on here? In Bootstrap 4, the navbar height isn't defined by a single variable like you might expect. Instead, it can be influenced by several factors, including padding and line height. Understanding this will help us customize it effectively and stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip on how to easily customize your bootstrap navbar to fit your design perfectly. To adjust the navbar height in Bootstrap 4, the user should first understand that Bootstrap does not provide a specific variable for navbar height. Instead, they can customize the height using the padding variables. The user can modify the padding by using the navbar padding Y variable. This variable controls the vertical padding of the navbar, which effectively changes its height. Next, the user should locate their custom SAS file where they can override Bootstrap variables. This file should be imported after Bootstrap's main SAS file. After importing, the user can set the navbar padding bash Y variable to their desired value. This will ensure that the navbar height reflects the new padding settings. Finally, the user should compile their SAS files to generate the updated CSS. This will apply the new navbar height to their project. Fun fact, did you know that Bootstrap was originally created by Twitter? It's amazing how far it has come and how many developers rely on it for their projects today. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests using the variable navbar brand height. This variable can be utilized to adjust the height of the navbar in Bootstrap 4. That's it for that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative solution from another user suggests adjusting the navbar's padding instead of its height. They recommend setting the navbar brand padding to 25 pixels. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always keep a backup of your original SAS files before making changes. This way, you can easily revert back if something doesn't look right. And there you have it. You now know how to adjust the navbar height in Bootstrap 4. Remember, customizing your design can make a huge difference. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips, and don't miss our next video where we'll explore more Bootstrap tricks.